It is stop number four in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. There is the pit road speed in that pit window here, 41 to 44 laps. Not a lot of banking here, guys. Yeah, you see right there at 14 degrees makes it pretty slick. But right here, Dale, I'm looking at Denny Hamlin's taking this outside for the for the start. He has the option. We saw this happen uh, at pretty much every restart yesterday. Uh, only one time did we see somebody choose the inside. But let's see how this works out for him. We both think, I kind of believe that the inside might be the way. Denny Hamlin believes otherwise as we get ready to go racing. The stars and cars of NASCAR taking center stage here in Southern California as the green flag waves. Hello, everybody, and welcome to round four in the Sprint Cup Chase for the Cup. I'm not liking the way I'm seeing those. Okay, we're not four wide. Okay, I was worried we were about to go four wide. Um, killer qualifying run. Don't know how we got it. But we got real lucky on that. But right now it's not... Uh, Carrying over oh so well in race trim. Jimmy Johnson's checked out, man. He is gone. Um, but yeah, welcome to uh, race four here in the Chase Hack from California Auto Club. But uh, we come in here second in points, 51 back to the 24. Johnson comes in here third in points, 79 out. So he needs a good run which he's delivering on which he probably will because uh, he ended up being the eventual winner of this race in real life uh, maybe we can get under here yeah yeah okay we're not three wide would have been nice to know that because I could have moved up a little bit more with Truex um, we're in 11th okay Two, four, five. No, we should be in tenth now that we're ahead of Truex. Juan Montoya got a big run on me though. So yeah, 75 laps. Uh, one pit stop will be required to make the distance on fuel. But other than that, it should be pretty straightforward race um, we had a handful of cautions I feel like it was in this race last season so we'll see what happens this year these guys don't seem to be sliding up the track as much as they did last season I'm trying to remember back to the spring race I don't think we had that good of a car um, but as we have seen, the day to night tracks, the INIs must be different because we do tend to run differently. If we run poor in the spring, like during the day races, we tend to do better at night and vice versa, I feel like. At least that's what's coming to my mind right now. <laughs> There's so many races, it's hard to remember them all. But a top 10 would be nice if we can at least get a top 10. I'm just trying to figure what lane I want to run. They're all coming down to the bottom. So I'm trying to stay with them down there, but we're just so slow. Inside, inside. 
David Reagan's passing me. Yeah, he bay. We should be able to carry enough speed through turns one and two to keep ahead of them. Let's try. We'll try at high groove. See what it does. Well, they don't get as big a run on me like they had been. But again, it is David Reagan, so it's hard to gauge it by it just by that. Well, he doesn't get me off of turn four there, so we'll stay up a lane and uh, see how that works for us. And at the end of the last video, I had said I thought Charlotte was next. Clearly, I was mistaken. <laughs> it's after California, but uh, yeah, we're in the final three weeks of this series. And then 2010 kicks off pretty quickly, I think. If I have my, if I have everything, the way I have it mapped out in my head right now, I think everything pretty much continues on without much of a break. So, get ready for season number, well, six? Yeah, season number 10 overall for us in the career, but um, for Cup Series, but season number six on the channel wow season six that's wild to think about i initially was looking at a one and done and i know i've told says this um through email we were talking and i had said you know i had originally thought it was only gonna be a one and done type of deal and the support we you know we had on the channel kept it going there's the interest in the comments and whatever like so kept me motivated to do it I mean I would have continued on with my own little career mode offline just for my own entertainment but the fact that people enjoy this is why I keep doing it and I have fun with it too don't get me wrong How far back is the next car? Second and a half to David Stremme. I feel like we're just going to be on a slow roll to the back. We're five seconds behind the 48. The 24 and the 5 and the 99 have all caught Jimmy. So maybe he's not going to run away with it like I thought he might. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Running the higher groove doesn't seem to be working as well, so I'm trying to take it a little bit lower. And uh, just trying to get this thing to turn right in the center so I can just get back down on the gas. But I think my problem is I'm not being patient enough getting back on the accelerator. I start to kind of get on it and then I have to get back off. I got to get a little bit more patient with it. Wait. Now go. Maybe that doesn't work as well. Yeah. Looks very similar to Michigan, but it just drives very differently. Michigan, I can run right up by the wall. No problem. And we competed for wins. Here, it can't really do that. Who is that in front of us next? Is that... Yeah, it's Joey Logano. So maybe we can catch Joey.
Uh, I doubt it. I doubt we're gonna catch Joey. Thirty-two, seven, nine. I'm trying to find the line that they're running and seeing if that helps us any. Uh, a little bit, I think. Unless it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Uh, we kind of broke even at the line that time. Clint, or, uh, Casey Mears is catching us. He's only 1.19. Johnson still leads. Gordon's within 0 .09 seconds of him, though. That's what I've been trying to do the entire time, was get a turn three and four like that. If I'm... Yeah, we're gaining on him down the front stretch. I drove in too hard. Damn it. Yeah, I think that's going to lose any whiff of draft we had off of the 20. So we're probably going to fall back into the clutches of the 07. That was a good 3 and 4. But I think what's also kind of propelling our speed up a little bit is we now have... A little bit of draft from behind from Casey Mears. And company, it looks like, because it looks like there's a handful of cars back there. Uh, we got Mears, Hornish, Kenseth, Newman, Stremi, Speed, Andretti, Biffle, Rudiman, Truex. And then it's a bigger gap, like five seconds back to Michael Waltrip and Kyle Busch. So, uh, yeah, Sam got to run. I didn't see Kenseth on those stand-ins. Apparently he's here too. Yeah, we just don't have the speed in the car this race, which is unfortunate. I was really excited after start at six. I did change my setup, which I'm regretting now. I should have just lowered the grill tape like I've talked about doing in the past. I went back to the race setup I ran in the spring. And I think that's what's the major difference. Kenseth, or not Kenseth, Newman. Casey Mears must have jumped under Newman. I didn't realize it. Oh, we're going to get pinched. Nope. Alright. Who was... Is that Stremmy? I think. Yeah, it's Stremmy. Damn it, I'm not going to be able to get up in front of Kenseth. Clear all around, all clear, outside. Still out there. Stream is going to get back under me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's going to put us back to almost 20th. Right? No, no, we didn't drop any spots. 16th still. Clear, clear. How far back are we, though? 
We were only 13 seconds. That's not actually terrible. Jeff Gordon took the lead. Jeff Gordon. Wow. I don't think he had this good of a year in real life in 2010. And running weekly race um, ratings, I did not expect him to be going for win number six going into California. No Stremi. No Kenseth. Thought about it. After the fact, after I went to go block Stremi, I figured actually I should probably go to block the high side because that's the side. Never mind. I was going to say that they've been beating me, but clearly I was wrong. Damn it. I should have gone high. Whoa, Kenseth. Still there. Well, that was some action. Three wide, How are we three wide? How are we? Th what? Oh, Still there's clear, clear. Rudiman. Didn't even see him sneak into the picture. Ugh. I'm not gonna bomb underneath of him. I'm gonna go outside. Or just not try to pass at all. Because either way, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yay! Alright, we got to think here. Needed to rotate a little bit more in the center. So. free there. Um, we're going to take some wedge out. See if that helps. Get us to the center there. Dang. Scott Speed really wants that spot. Clear all around, all clear. Sixteen seconds back to Johnson now. So the lead has swapped back to the forty-eight. I'm guessing there's some lap cars in this pack here because we just kind of caught right back up fairly quickly. I'm gonna block Scott Speed. I was trying to set up to get a run on Mike Bliss, and I thought we were going to get to him, so I drove it in a little higher, so I drove it in a little harder. That didn't work. But. I see the lap car right there. And I'm trying to do something there, but I can't. Who's behind me? Is that Biffle? Yeah, it's Biffle. See, I have to pinch it down. They don't. They get the run. Ah, <sighs> brother. Jamie at lap? Yeah, he is. Whoa, Biffle got too much of a run. I can't do anything there. We're going to go on a Roush sandwich here. We go 23 more laps, so that'll take us out to about lap 54. Or excuse me, 52. So, 20 something laps, yeah. So, we'll probably go four tires. We did two, I think we tried two in the 06 season or the 07 season. Party, hey, hey, 
And I remember it didn't work very well for us. But we're going to stay out as long as we can. And the event, a caution comes out because I feel like we've had cautions come out for, during pit stops at California more frequently than um, like places like Kansas where we went green the entirety through the stops clear all around, all clear inside. just take the spot I'm so tired of having to battle you off right now See, I have more momentum than him, so I should be able to get him. Oh, I do. Okay. I thought I was expecting him to just suddenly get a burst of speed. Got a little too hard on the brake on the entry. Hamlin for position? Nah, he's a lap down, too. I can shoot that gap. Inside, three wide now in the middle, clear, clear. Still there. Can we pin the one? Nope, we can't. But we can get the 16 out of the one's draft, so we should be able to pull on them. And I might be able to get the one through three and four. Let's see, how, how does he stay pinned like that and get that run? It's frustrating. Very frustrating. Tires are going yellow. So, new grip to do that. Uh, it's going to be a long 19 laps, that's for sure. I'm going to try backing up the corner a little bit on entry and see if we can do something with that. Slow in, fast off type of mentality. No tire squeal either that time. We've been driving like that the whole time. I wonder where we would have been. Because we wouldn't have probably worn our right front out as much as we did. We're like falling into Michael Waltrip clutches. Slow right now. Not what I would like to be doing. 25 seconds back now. So, yeah, we are definitely falling off a lot at the end of this run. Or second half of this run, I should say. We're not even near the end. All right, we're closer to the end, I guess, than we are to the start of it. With having gone 30, now 35 laps, and we only have 16 or so to go. have a lot of Gatorade paint schemes coming up over the next few races. Uh, our next paint scheme, I think, is we had Deer Park for, uh, for Charlotte. And then we have our Halloween paint scheme for Gatorade for two races. Our fastest lap was a 37.9. We're running 39s. Yeah, 39.5. So our pace is definitely slowed. But you can contribute a lot of that to not having any draft. Johnson and Gordon tied at the line.
Yeah, it's staying consistent there. Believe me, I want a short pit so bad right now. Because we're halfway. Well, I think this lap coming around, we should get the halfway call out. It's just... We pit. The caution comes out. We are... Yeah, there's the halfway call out. We're in bad shape. I was really beginning to believe like we had a really strong shot at getting this title, but 22nd with those guys running up there like that, it's it's gonna get really difficult to make up those kind of points. A uh, couple cars are coming in, so some of these guys are split in the race. This could get interesting. This is one of those situations. It's feels like it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. We pit. No caution comes out. You know. Alright, well, everything stays status quo. We stay out. No caution comes out. We're screwed, but if it does come out, we can catch a break. And if we stay out as long as we can and a late race caution comes out, we'll pit. They might not. They're going to have worn tires. We'll have fresh. Oh boy, this gets interesting. We don't even want a caution to necessarily come out too soon. Now that I'm thinking about it, we want to have some time for their tires to wear. Because then when we go to make our pit stop, we'll be in good shape, yeah. So just got to hang in there. That's all we got to do right now. Who's that in front of me? Joe Nemechek. Getting some draft is going to help us with some speed. You doing good, Marty? Hi. Hi. Real good work. Left those guys behind, buddy. Just hit your marks. You'll run away from them. Outside. Stay low. Joe's running 35th. Inside, inside. Clear, clear. Alright, so let's try to hang with some of these cats for a moment here. See if we can... Hmm. That'd be weird if we could hang with them on worn tires, but we couldn't on fresh. Yeah, that's a sign you're not very fast when the outside cars, Joe Nemechek and three wide, you push up and they still can get around you. We have a 15, uh, 16 second lead on the 24. But Nemechek being right there is actually not a horrible thing for us. I mean, we just tacked out on the end of the front straightaway. I haven't done that in a little bit. Probably because we had Kenseth behind us too and just realized he was there. 
Clear all around, all clear. We can go six more laps. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty shocked that this race stayed green. But all these laps that we stay out, yeah, we're losing time, but we'll be able to have some fresher tires at least and maybe make some of the extra time back up. Still there. Clear all around, all clear. Just hoping for a caution. Really surprised we didn't get one. Are we? No, we got five laps. Yeah, because they pit around the halfway point, too, so we're going to be looking at almost 10 to 11 lap pressure tires. That could mean a lot in the long run here. It's not a race winning strategy, don't get me wrong. It's, this is just to try to pick up a few spots for ourselves at the end to f avoid finishing like 30th. Right now up to 19th is a lap. I see smoke. Side, side. Clear all around, all clear. But I don't see a fire. Damn it. We can go one more lap, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll pit next time by. Yeah, we'll take it down this time. We waited long enough. Where's my pit board? It's 55, not 45. Where are you, pit box? Oh, that's right, we started sixth. I'm so used to starting in the back. Our average start is like 18th, 19th, something like that, I think it said. So I'm so used to looking in the back. Lately, we've been able to pit near the front. <sighs> Water break. They nailed the pit stop. Good job, boys. Good That's job. good. Alright, let's see what we can do. Trying to get up to speed as quick as I can without spinning. Oh, I got nervous there. Outside. Stay low. Clear all around, all clear. With that wedge adjustment, I'm curious to how well we're going to be able to roll a little bit. Wow, it feels so good on fresh tires. So where are we going to be? One lap, 24th. Clear all around, all clear. We'll see what we got now. The 18th for position. Leaders aren't too, too far up the road. 
So maybe we can fight our way back onto the lead lap at some point, but it would be a very tall task. I was going to try to make a move on Kyle, but then I kind of think drafting with Kyle might be a good idea. Well, I feel like I started to get loose because I had to back out just a tiny bit to avoid running him over. I don't think we're going to be able to ride behind you, Kyle. Sorry, buddy. Outside. Clear all around, all clear. He's going to come ripping right up behind me. Stay high. If he would just stay in line. It'd be nice. Clear all around, all clear. Well, he's not going to get under me that time. We said bye to Kyle Bush. So we might be just that much faster now. We haven't done that to anybody in a minute. I want to say some of it's the setup because the handling is way better in the center there than it was at the beginning of the first run. And I think the other part is the fresher tires. Well, I know the fresh tires play a big part. That's a given. At any track where tires wear. I'm trying to be a little bit smoother, too, about my entries unlike earlier in the run and that's I mean I'm not I it, it's not as tight either feeling so that's I'm sure a big part of why we're able to do that wow this thing handles so good I have to write down what I made change wise so I can edit the main setup for that That group of three, though, I don't know if we're going to catch. Um, Jeff's 15 seconds up the road. He, uh, he's still pulling away, so we're not going to get our lap back that way. I overdrove a little bit, but we're okay. I would like to catch the 55. I drove in high and a little bit more aggressive. That's why those tires squealed out a little bit there. Eh, we're not really gaining too much. Though in comparison, car in the draft, car not in draft, and we gained some time. That's pretty decent still, I'd say. Again, it's hard to say if it's the changes or it's the difference in like eight or nine laps of tires. But I'd like to think it's a combination probably of the both. And we came in pit road. We were running like 20th, 22nd, somewhere in there. So um, we really didn't lose much as far as position wise. And we got some bonus points, so. That's that's a big, big bonus to help us out in the end. Who's that behind me? Clint Boyer. Kevin Harvick. gonna poke at me Clint get right into my bumper when I least expect it hmm? 
This ain't turn three. Stay in my draft, Clint. Let's try to get up to that pack. Driving a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna probably wear the tires out a little bit faster, but not a lot, not a whole lot of time left to use these tires up, so. Slid right up. I thought he was gonna follow up that way. I think he was gonna cut down that hard. Oh. Thought maybe he had already cleared, man. Oh, what a race with Boyer there. Giving him some fits. We're going to run him up on the high groove there. Yeah, I didn't forget about Pocono. I'm turning the wheel harder, that's why it's starting to squeal. I'm trying to keep it down. Not letting it pass. want to hold him up so he loses his spot. He's not bothering me right now. So we got him to back off for a minute there, but he's going to get some big momentum down the front straightaway, I feel like. I think that's Nemechek in front of me. Yeah. That would be Joe. Damn it, Joe. Thought he was going to stay high. Clint pushed me past him. Thanks, pal. Clear all around, all clear. Gain a little bit of time on Michael now. So I think he's getting hit with some lap traffic. And we've been able to keep the 33 behind us. So it's given us some draft to keep uh, working with. I don't even care if you even try to go low. I'm going to just try to sweep the outside of these guys here. Well, I guess we're not going to get to the outside of the 11, but we'll get to the underneath them. Try to get some draft off of the 13. That worked. Uh, let's see, where are we at now? We're knocking Michael's gap to us down 
like two or three tenths a lap. So nothing crazy. I'm driving way harder than I was just a few laps ago. Because I know we'll be able to handle it for eight more laps. I just really would like to catch one more car at least. The next car. That's Gil in the uh, 71. Pass him on the outside. Pin Boyer behind him. Holds him up. Yeah, we gotta hold him up a grand total of two and a half seconds if we're gonna get Harvick to be able to do anything with that. That was a freaking great turn three and four for us, I think. I know turn one and two was nothing special, but I feel like we did really good there. did really good there too. What am I doing differently all of a sudden? Or are they just getting that much slower? Side, side. They have to be just getting Say that hi. much slower. Oh wait, never mind. Boyer's back there with me, so just these lap clear cars. I got excited. I was going to try to go high on Elliot, and he just did not seem to get that memo, so I had to slow down and cut it down to the bottom. We're almost within three seconds of Michael, but it's still not going to be close enough. Um, let's get you some information here. Jeff? Jeff's going for win number six. Lock. I'm pretty sure Jimmy Johnson was the real life winner of this race. Unless I saw something wrong and it was actually Gordon. It doesn't really account for his other five wins if he wins this race, but. Good old NR2003. It's going to be a battle between Gordon and Johnson. They're both. Uh, six seconds ahead of third. So, yeah, it's going to come down to those two. Uh, only 15 cars remain on the lead lap. Ooh, Scott Speed is the next car. But Michael got past him, and he's only two and a half up the road. I think that's maybe him right up there. Um, that's Regan and Almendinger. He's the third car up ahead. That's a really tall ask. Got a good run through three and four on these two. Clear right there, two to go. Still there. Clear. We're within two seconds now of Scott's speed. If we can get a really good three and four, we'll be all right. That means, Clint, you can't be underneath me. Clint, I'm going to block you. Not letting you pass. 1.4. Like I said, I just wanted one more spot. Can we get it? Oh man, we're definitely in his draft now. He got held up by Robbie. Here we go. Now, we need like one or two more laps. 
but that'll do it. Wow, it was a neck and neck finish for Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Gordon got the win. Mark Martin, Carl Edwards, Juan Montoya, Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick, David Reagan, um, rest of the chase guys, Ryan Newman 15th. Um, we got 22nd, Kyle got 23rd, Brian Vickers 28th, Casey Kane 36th. Um, I think that's all of us. Yeah, so nobody out. Yeah, that'll do it for California. Uh, another green flag race, so that went by quick. But uh, yeah, next up will be Charlotte. So hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, thank you for the love and support through likes, comments, subscriptions, etc. And until next time, have a good one.